cookie cutter set? <laughs> no. No, this is actually my whole saw set. And I had a question the other day, an email came in. A gentleman saw the wings that I'm making for ladybug meat. You know, this little ladybug sculpture that I'm making. And he said, whoa, whoa, wait. Uh, how did you cut those? So nice and smooth and perfect, and yet there's no discoloration. You know, he said, you know, what kind of rig did you use on your plasma? Or, I mean, you know, how did you do that? So I thought, huh, okay. A hole saw. So it has this little uh, attachment that has a pilot drill in it that you can get your hole started with. And it's got this little locking mechanism. It's got these little pins that actually lock into the holes in the back of the hole saw itself. And that'll just lock everything together you know, rather than jamming it on or a, you know, a lock nut or something like that. It's just got these little pins. Screw it in, line up the pin holes, screw it down, everything's all locked together. Uh, a bimetal saw blade, or you know, bimetal cutting surface, so it dissipates heat very well, but it also stays sharp for a decent length of time. And they come in lots of different sizes, actually. I think that one's half inch, you know, to seven eighths of an inch. To You got lots of them to choose from. Was that a set? Oh, no, no. You, you can buy these as a set if you want. You know, they come in a little plastic case. So you can store them. But they only go from like, um, I, I think it's like a, a half an inch up to about three quarters of an inch in the set. At least the ones that I've seen. You know, otherwise, you got this big monster case to store these big hole saws in. And they come, you know, this is a four inch. This is a four-inch hole saw, and they come bigger than that, even. You know, they come up into the six, sevens, eights, tens. You, know, I mean, you can get a pretty decent-sized blade on there. Uh, very, very handy. Can you use them in a drill press or with a handheld? Oh, or? yeah. yeah you know, I've used them in the handheld. But the smaller diameters are pretty easy in the handheld. The bigger ones, they, you know, they get a little grabby. You know, they want to pull the metal out of your hand or wood or you know, whatever you're working on. So, you know, for the bigger diameter, say over about, you know, an inch and a half or so, then I'll just go to the drill press if I can, clamp it down on the drill press table, and go ahead and make my cut that way. But, uh, you know, you can buy them in a set. You can buy them individually. And the funny thing is, these are all from Home Depot. You know, they're all, they're the... Um, this is the Milwaukee brand, which is, I've had very, very good luck with. You know, I mean, there's different types out there. You know, there are different types of metal. There are ones that are, uh, are adjustable. You know, you know get, on, get on the internet, you know, research hole saws. I mean, there's lots of different brands out there and different ways to go to make the same thing. One thing you might want to do, you know, when, when you're, you know, like working on this big sheet. Come here, guys. You know, where I was working on this big sheet and cutting everything out. And what I did was I laid out my bottoms. I you know, laid out the bottom run along a, a nice straight edge. So I could measure in and then measure across, you know, measure everything out. I actually took some uh, paper, you know, just out of a, a notepad, and I cut a bunch of four-inch diameter circles. And I can lay them out right on here. To get my spacing all right, to get it to where it looks right. And then I just came back with my center punch. So right into the center of the circle of the piece of paper, I could just take this, this is a spring-loaded center punch. So when you put it up against a piece of metal and just push down on it, see that little, that little snap? That little snap you hear inside there, when you push this thing down, it loads a spring inside, and there's actually a little tiny hammer in there, if you will. You push it all the way down, and then it taps on the top of the, the little scribe, the little mandrel, and that's what actually makes your little center punch. 
you know, you can come back with a handheld and a hammer if you want to make it bigger, but I find just do it a couple of times with this, you know, there's a big enough mark there where then I can come back with my, you know, my uh, attachment, you know, the, the, the rig that holds the hole saw, and then the drill will actually come down and find that little center point and line everything up, and away I go. But, yeah, come over to the drill press. I got one set up over there. This is just like over there. I can come back in with my center punch and just go right where I want it. Got a nice little dimple right here for the drill to find to align my hole, and then down we go. So that just cuts the little pilot hole, and then the drill just acts like a guide to help keep the hole saw centered. This is just a piece of aluminum, you know, so it goes a lot quicker. Uh, you know, on the steel, I was using a little cutting fluid. You know, on the drill press, I had a big uh, chunk of wood up here clamped to the drill press table, and then my metal clamped to the wood, so keep everything all straight and in line. You know, you just got to go a little bit slower, a little bit easier. You know, and uh, I've done, heck, I've probably done quarter inch. I mean, maybe, I think I've even done a piece of half inch one time where I poked a hole with a drill press. It took a little while, but it got there. So, fun little attachment, you know, fun little tool. Helps a lot when you just want to punch a little hole without getting out the big saw, without having all the cleanup to do. So, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to work, and I'll see you guys next time.